Hey first graders, okay, it is Monday and we are ready for our phonics lesson for today. So we are on unit six, week three, and we are going to do a quick review of last week. Remember last week was the ah sound, okay? And so sometimes we see that A with an L working together to say ah. So here we get to hear the second L and the word is call. Here we have ah spelled with A-U. Remember C-E sounds like an S. The word is sauce. Here's our A-L working together. The word is talk. A-W sounds like ah. The word is yawn. A-U sounds like ah. The word is hall. A with an L sounds like ah. The word is ball. A-U-G-H, remember that tricky one? Okay, lots of letters working together to say ah. The word is caught. Okay, here we get the ah from the A, but we still are going to hear the L. The word is also. Here's the ah from A-W, the word is draw. Okay, what was this one again? Also, good. Okay, so remember this is one of the times when we still hear the L. Okay, this week we are going to work on letters that are silent. Okay, sometimes in English we have some letters show up that we don't say their sound at all. And we saw that a little bit last week with some of those L's, like in talk. We don't hear that L at all. But these are specific more for at the beginning of words. Um, and one of them you're very familiar with, this one right here. W-R just sounds like a R, okay? So they are working as a team, but we are only hearing the R in this. Words like write, okay? You know how to write a paragraph. That is a time when we see W-R, but we really only say the R sound, okay? Um, now over here on the nest card, we see two ways that we have N show up. And one of them, again, we're pretty familiar with, with a K in front of an N, and we only say the N, it's like in the words no or knew. I knew what the answer was. I know how to solve that problem. Okay, those are times when we have the K with the N, but we only say the N sound. Another time that happens is with a G and an N. Okay, sometimes that G shows up in front of N and we don't say it sound either. An example of that is down here, gnat. A gnat is like a little tiny fly. Um, so it's like a cousin to a fly, it's a little bug. And that is spelled with a G, and we don't hear that G sound, okay? So those are going to be our focus sounds this week. The rose card spelled with the W-R, and the nest card spelled with both K-N and G-N. So we have the silent letter showing up. Okay, so quick review, W-R just says R, W-R, R, W-R, R, W-R, R, K-N, N, K-N, N, K-N, N, K-N, N, K-N, N, G-N, N, G-N, N, G-N, N, G-N, N, G, N, N. Okay, so those are the focused sounds for this week. So when we see K, N, the K is silent, we use the N sound, vowel sound, the word is knee. N, ah, the word is knob, like a doorknob. R, e, k, the word is wreck like to make a mess. N, O, N, the word is gnome. A garden gnome are those funny little like elf looking creatures that sometimes people have little statues of in their yards. Okay. I'm going to disappear here for a second so you can see all of the different sounds that we're going to focus on. R, I, N, E, O, N, 
a r n at ing u a r er or ear u okay some of those were reviews from the last couple weeks okay er i where it is right mm -hmm. oh, the word is meal er o t the word is wrote mm -hmm. i f the word is knife mm -hmm. e t the word is knit er a mm. The word is wrong. N mm. ah. The word is na. Like to, when a dog is chewing on a bone, sometimes we use the word na to describe how he's doing that. R a. The word is wrap. N mm. a. T. The word is napped. R i s t. The word is wrist mm. ah, t. the word is not to, like getting a knot in your shoelace er, eh, mm. the word is ren that is a type of bird okay let's do some reading think 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 okay let's read it all together ready Begin. He cut the knot with a knife. Good work. Think, 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 think. Ready? Begin. I knew a mouse gnawed on the cheese. So here's that word na that we just talked about a moment ago, and it has the ending ed saying he already did it. How do you think you would know a mouse had gnawed on cheese? You think you'd see all the teeth marks? Something to think about. Hey, think, 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 think. Ready? Begin. Wrap the cloth on your wrist. Okay, some sight words that we are going to be having this week. I'm going to show back up here. Hi! And we're going to be finishing our color words. So last week we had five of our color words and this week we will have the other five. So the first one that we have today is purple. How many of you have purple as your favorite color? Okay, let's spell it together. P U R P L E, purple. Okay, here's the next word. Black, let's spell it together. B, L, A, C, K, black. It was so dark last night, it looked black. What's our next word? White, let's spell it. W, H, I, T, E. White. Did you paint the walls white? The next word is orange. Orange. Let's spell it together. O R A N G E. Orange. The sky looks orange during a sunset. And finally, the word is pink. Let's spell it together. P I N K. Pink. They painted the baby's room pink. You see that often with little baby girls. Okay, this week we are going to, or today we are going to read the story, The Wrong Job. Okay, notice wrong as our silent W. We just say the O sound. Wrong job. Okay, these are some sight words we will see in here. Look, think, speak, month. Asked, said, 
children do into year question what there done and been let's look here we can see some of the sight words being marked and I can see oh I can get rid of that K I can get rid of that K because I'm seeing them with their buddy N okay, that one as well so it looks like we've got quite a few silent K's in this page okay ready begin each month King Knox asked his knight to perform a task. He said, can you tie knots? No, said Knight Waldo. King Knox asked, can you sharpen this knife? Knight Waldo replied, no, but I can butter homemade bread for all of the children. Ooh, that sounds tasty, homemade bread. Okay, let's look for clues here. I can get rid of these Ks that are next to an N because I know they will be silent. Oh, there's a silent G in front of that N. Okay, ready, begin. Can you knit socks for me? Asked King Knox. I do not know how, but I can pile this wool into a soft bed, said Knight Waldo. A year passed. King Knox gnashed his teeth. Then he knocked on the knight's door. He shouted, let me ask a question. What can you do? Okay, let's look for silent letters again. Quite a few silent letters. There we go. Ready? Begin. The knight kneeled down on one knee. He said, this is the wrong job for me. King Knox and Waldo knew their time together was done. Waldo wrote a note to King Knox. He quit his job. Then he packed a knapsack and left. He started a sheep farm. I should have been doing this all along, saying Waldo. Okay, kind of a funny little story, but fun way to use all of the sounds from this week. Okay, we are going to quickly do this review. We're going to read these sentences using those sight words that we just did a review of. Okay, ready? Begin. The children have been here all day. Where do you think they're talking about? Do you think that's talking about a school? Okay, number two. This is the first month in the year. What month are they talking about? January, that's right. Number three. Their group has a question it would like to ask. Okay, maybe they're asking how they can solve a problem. What else might they be asking about? Okay, so last week we were talking about pronouns, possessive pronouns, which are pronouns that show that people belong, have something that belongs to them, okay, without using their name. So we're going to talk about some another type of pronoun this week. They're called indefinite pronouns. And indefinite pro pronouns are Pronouns that get used when we don't know which person or which thing specifically we are talking about. Okay, so in this first sentence it says, does anyone know what time it is? That word anyone is the indefinite pronoun. It means any person. 
So it is asking, does any person know what time it is? Rather than asking, does he know what time it is? Or does John know what time it is? That is directed to a certain person. So anyone is asking for any person to be able to answer the question. Okay, the next sentence says, everyone thought the joke was funny. Everyone is the indefinite pronoun. Again, it's not talking about she thought the joke was funny, which is directed to one specific female, or Sally thought the joke was funny, which is directed specifically to Sally. Everyone thought the joke was funny means all people, okay? Every person thought the joke was funny. So here we are using um, similar indefinite pronouns. This time it's talking about things rather than people. So the first sentence says, you can have anything you want for lunch. Anything means no special thing. It doesn't matter which thing we're talking about. Okay, you can, it doesn't say you can have a sandwich for lunch. It doesn't say you can have that pointing to a specific thing for lunch. It's saying you can have anything, no special thing that we're talking about can be used for lunch. Okay, there is nothing in the mailbox. Nothing is the indefinite pronoun. There is no thing in the mailbox. We don't know what could have been there, but right now there is no thing. No, there's not a specific thing that we are talking about. It's indefinite. Okay, so let's look here and see if we can find the indefinite pronouns. Okay, the first sentence says, does anyone know what is in the box? Can you find the indefinite pronoun? Who are we asking? We are asking anyone, any person, no special person that we're asking, it's any of the people that we can have answer. Let's read the next sentence. Everyone thinks the box is filled with peanuts. What was the indefinite pronoun here? Who are we talking about? We're talking about everyone, all people that are there think the box is filled with peanuts. Let's read the next sentence. I do not think there is anything to eat in that box, said Nate. Okay, what was the indefinite pronoun? What was in the box? Anything. No specific thing does Nate think is in the box to eat. Okay. The children looked in. Is there an indefinite pronoun here? No, there's a group of people, the children. Final sentence, nothing was in the box. What was the indefinite pronoun here? Nothing, no special thing, no thing was in the box. Okay, so that is an example of how indefinite pronouns get used, and we'll keep working on that throughout this week. So with that, we are done with our phonics lesson and our language lesson for today, and I hope you have a great day learning. I'll talk to you later. Bye.